This is Rieke Brouwer from the Netherlands talking to candidates of the Pirate Party for the upcoming European parliamentary elections. And that's my guest, Marketa Gregorova of the Pirate Party in the Czech Republic. Or uh, Hi, I should say the Thank Czech you. Pirate Party. No? <laughs> exactly. Welcome. So this interview is for uh, uh, our listeners and, and watchers, people watching from uh, f from your country to get to know you as a candidate and also for pirates from the other countries to see what's going on in Czech Republic. So to start off with, would you introduce yourself, uh, talk about uh, who you are, what's your profession and your political mm -hmm. experience? Okay, so hi, I'm Marketa, as Rico already introduced me. Uh, I'm in the Czech Pirates for already six years, six and a half. And uh, there I'm actually uh, working for the Czech Pirates as the international coordinator. I'm also the chairperson of the European Pirate Party. And well, my political experience uh, right now, I'm a city councillor in uh, Brno city. That's the second largest city in Czech Republic. And uh, of course, I'm aspiring <laughs> to be elected into the European Parliament. Otherwise, most of my activities within the party were volunteering, uh, you know, volunteer based. Uh, but uh, I think I have already quite some experience with this stuff. So, uh, I don't know when it was, like half a year ago, you had a massive victory with those local elections in Czech Republic. How did that work over the last couple of months? Uh, it was actually in 2017. Oh, sorry. The okay. time's fast. Yeah. Yeah, I think actually it's working great. Uh, like, we succeeded to build a good structure on which we can base everything. So... Uh, a lot of uh, people were actually afraid that the success in 2017 when we got into the parliament would, uh, you know, damage us and because that it would be too much of a success and we would crumble, you know. But because we were already existing for like eight years, uh, we had time to establish ourselves ourselves, uh, realize what we want and who we are. And I think the success came in uh, the right time, in the right place. And now we are only building on what we already have. So with all the municipal, uh, you know, councillors and everyone elected, um, I have pretty much only good news. Uh, of course, in the municipal uh, city councils, we are usually in opposition, uh, but it's good because mostly those people had never, you know, had an experience with politics. So they are learning slowly, uh, but gradually. And I think it's really, really good to, uh, you know, learn slowly and not to be thrown yeah. into it uh, and learn to swim. Let's so say. let's move to European elections then, because can you tell me what's going on for the people that don't know your country? And that might be a lot of people in, in European Union. Uh, mm -hmm. What's going on? What's the main area that these elections are about in your current uh, country? What are the elections going to be about? Uh, well, uh, we have, I, I will just say, set it up. We have 21 MEPs uh, as Czech Republic. And well, right now we have uh, mainly like one issue that is, of course, migration. Um, but I hope that or, or we are trying to shift this towards the real problems, you know, because, of course, only populists and extremists are trying to use this as a lift into the high politics. And we are trying to uh, cut them short because it's really... We, we think the European Union is really a good thing uh, with a lot of benefits and a lot of good stuff. And we don't want it to be taken from us uh, by these populists and extremists. Uh, so that's kind of the problem we as pirates in the Czech Republic are dealing with right now. And it's kind of our main topic. And of course, oh, I don't know if you know it or the listeners in Czech Republic, there's one of the uh, uh, smallest uh, turnout. Uh, it's like 18% in 2014. The small turnout was only in Slovakia, uh, which is our neighbor. So we really need to work on this because people don't know why should they even go to vote. They don't know about the vote. Uh, they don't care about it because they think that Brussels is too far away and they don't know what's being decided there and don't know that it's really important because like 60 to 80% of 
the legislative that's being discussed in the Czech Parliament actually comes from the European Parliament. So it is really bizarre that not even 20% are like deciding about who will be deciding about 80%, you know, of laws yeah. here. So that's also our, like, let's say core topic to inform people when we are in the European Parliament and even now what what is uh, being uh, in EU the f- generally discussed, what's its purpose, and that's that it's peace project that we really want to keep. So f- you said the Brussels is like feels like far away from, from where you are. Now for you, as a candidate, it, it actually is a long way from home. So what is it in, the, in that job that you're looking forward to? <laughs> the... Definitely not the moving between Brussels and Strasbourg. Like, that's exactly I don't want to be controversial, that, but I feel like the reasons for the transfer uh, are behind us. You know, like uh, I know why the reasons uh, begin to exist, uh, but I think we are like one union already, and we feel like it. So uh, why to make the transfer? You know, so that's something I don't look forward to. But what I look forward to, well. Uh, I studied uh, at the university European studies and international relations. So, and I was like, since childhood, actually, I was a really strange kid, you know, uh, interested in politics. And I read newspapers and watch uh, TV with my grandpa, grandpa and, uh, you know, the political di- discussions and debates. And I really loved it. So I actually really like politics, uh, how is it done, uh, what's being discussed in it, and European topics. Mm. So I'm really looking forward, you know, to the political work. Uh, it's as easy as that, <laughs> because it was kind of my l- long life dream, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. to be a- a- either someone who studied politics or does politics. And I, I decided to save the world. So <laughs> I <laughs> met I met Julia Reda five years ago when she was just elected. I, I asked her the same thing, not not in an interview, but just casually. And she said, gave the exact same answer. So I'm looking forward to the job, but the moving between Brussels and Strasbourg, that was, <laughs> so that's funny. <laughs> so, yeah. so, um, How do you see the future of European Union for the next five years? What do you see developing with countries yeah, fighting European Union or, or being critical of it? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Uh, I, uh, it of course depends a lot on which parties will get into the European Parliament. But I know that a lot of people are concerned about who will get into the EP this time, that it will be a lot of, you know, anti-EU actually uh, um, elected representatives and I'm actually more optimistic maybe it's just you know my bubble or the bubble in the Czech Republic and that we are uh, that there were actually like polls yesterday that we will win <laughs> uh, you know it was kind of surprising but very nicely and I think that people are starting to realize that the European Union is a good thing and needed. They just kind of feel, you know, cautious because they are confused on what it does for them. And I actually think that we can, you know, tell them what's really uh, going on in there and why should they care and why is it good. And uh, I hope to make it, you know, my work. I actually don't want to work only uh, for Pirates or the Czech citizens. Uh, I want to work for the whole European Union, Union and for all the European citizens. I want to inform them, educate them, uh, talk to them. Like I, I think uh, that is really important. And even though it sounds like a too much and a big goal, uh, who am I to have small goals? You know. <laughs> Excellent. So if you look back over the last five years. Uh, Julia Reda has become somewhat of an authority on on, on the area of, of copyright reform. Mm-hmm. So, in five years from now, or six maybe, if we look back on Marketa, how will you? How will we look back on your uh, past term? What, what will be your main area of expertise? Hmm. Well, uh, I actually uh, <laughs> it's a good question because. I really lo- love my topic, but it's kind of hard to explain so that people don't misunderstand me, you know, so I have to prepare. Um, Give it a try. I always say that uh, I decided, you know, that I want to do something like uh, important and have a important have an important goal in my life. Uh, so, you know, I was wondering what to do and I decided, well, 
let's build a world peace. And of course, I'm idealistic, but I also know uh, that you have to be pragmatic in some things. I know that within my short little lifetime, I won't be able to reach uh, world peace, but I can idealistically, you know, set up the goal and with baby steps go towards it. So uh, I, you know, cut this idealistic dream until the baby steps. And the first one that I actually think I can somehow, somehow influence is, uh, you know, the expert of uh, arms and weapons into um, areas of crisis w- where there are uh, wars happening and human rights uh, are, uh, you, you know, being breaking. So I think that's one of the, um, one of the baby steps I can do now in my lifetime. And of course, it's kind of complicated because a lot of people are like, so you're against weapons. And I'm like, no, actually, I played Airsoft and I really loved it. <laughs> and I think that there is a time and place for having, you know, a weapon as a hobby. Uh, I support it. Uh, I just don't want uh, these uh, weapons that we create here and we actually have laws uh, that uh, ban to export it anywhere. Uh, into a you know crisis area uh, to be broken by I don't know we transport it to another country where it's all clear and nice and then uh, it suddenly disappears in that country because the country has uh, much you know um, softer softer laws yeah. so maybe harmonization of the laws or even tagging of the weapons and everything. Well, there's a lot of stuff that can be done in this area, or I'm already being briefed in all of it. Uh, so generally, I want to focus on this. Well, too. So sure. one final question that, uh, that, that, uh, in, that follows on that automatically is, what's your position, or is there any in, in, uh, in the Czech Pirate Party on a European army? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, we... For, for in the future, and again, I'm talking about like future 10, 20, 30 years, we generally support the idea of something like that because uh, it's not like we want to leave NATO or something like that. Definite, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Because uh, it's important to be partners, you know, but we don't want to be like in the middle of uh, power blocks, you know, uh, USA, Russia. We like want to be equal partners of all of them. Uh, And we can do it if we are, uh, you know, uh, scrambled across the European continent. Uh, So I think in the future, uh, this is one of the points to be equal to them. Uh, But for now, we think that it would suffice if, for example, PESCO uh, was, you know, being more harmonized, yeah. uh, supported and more effective and efficient. And Marketa Grigorova of the Czech Pirate Party, thank you so much. Do you have any last remarks for people maybe who want to help you during the campaign? Uh, well, I'm, not, I'm never saying like vote for me or vote for pirates. I always say uh, vote uh, informed. Like inform yourself uh, what what the parties that are running represent, like really, not just what they are saying, but what they really represent. And then decide based on your own beliefs who you want to vote and uh, check on them. You know, it's like democracy is not, uh, you know, that you give your rights pretty much and your uh opinions to someone else and hope that they will somehow fulfill it excellent thank you, thank you so much so the, the website where this interview and and the ones with the other candidates going to be european minus eu which you set up through your work for the european pirates mm-hmm. take care and best Slash of luck be, uh, uh, elections yeah there you go bye-bye <laughs>